Jared, when did your love or passion for, for finding shoes start? Um, at a very young age, you know, even before I was able to really uh, obtain them. Um, I just thought that the craftsmanship, the colorways, and then for a lot of them, the storylines that, that went into them. These are like time capsules to me. You know, there are many times I can look at these shoes and remember exactly what I was doing in my childhood um, when I had them on. So for me, they're very, very sentimental. How much dialogue goes on, whether it's at practice or with the guys about <coughs> shoes, about different guys' shoes, liking shoes, where they find them? Um, I mean, there's there certain guys that, you know, are, are uh, about the culture, so to speak. Daddy is Thomas Robinson. We hear a lot about Joe's shoes. His is decorated hardwood basketball four. <laughs> Under his, like mirrors. He got like a basketball court in the thing. Man, you put some time in this. I was like, look, man, give me some damn racks. <laughs> I just want to line them up so they won't be all over the floor. That was my whole thing. The, this is just organized act. chaos. What, what do you look for in a shoe? Like, all right, this particular pair right here. Penny Hardaway was my favorite player growing up. Um, the commercials that they had around him, he had the little Penny doll type going <laughs> on. So, uh, I love this game. I thought his, his commercials were, were, were super dope. His logo was amazing. And he was a player that I aspired to be. So he had the, the game and also the shoe and just the aura around him to go with it. Could you pick your favorite shoe? Probably my favorite shoe of all time probably would be Jordan 11s. Um, this pair is a little bit different than most normal ones. If you can see with the gold Jumpman sign, this comes from the Defining Moments package. Just the hoopla surrounding this shoe was just unbelievable. This was a super, super sought after sneaker. Um, you know, Mike didn't do many uh, colorways outside of the Chicago Bulls colorways. So when they did an inspiration one with him on the Dream Team with the gold medal, um, that's something that, like for me, I always would have to have in my collection. This was the actual colorway that um, former Nets player Vince Carter when he did the infamous dunk over Frederick Weiss in the Olympics, these were the, the shoes that he wore. You see, it got the USA kind of colorway yeah. going on, the shock boings, the whole boing phenomenon with the spring activation in the back. This particular shoe um, is called the Dornbecker Edition, and it's from the Dornbecker Hospital, and they allow kids that who have barely have life in them left the opportunity to design their own Air Jordan. This shoe will always have a meaning to me knowing that a kid with his last wish, you know, put his heart and soul, his everything into it and made an amazing product. 